All right, here in Brevard County, there's already been 4,000 people without power, and we're on the East Coast. We're in a little bit of a lull right at this moment. So what I did was, in your hurricane preparedness, I went ahead and set up my cooking station in case something happens and the power does go out, I'm ready to go. You don't want to be doing this after the fact, folks. So, as you can see, I got the Coleman stove all set up. It's on a metal table. You got to remember, if you're going to use your Coleman stoves or anything like that, they got to be on a metal table because it will melt it. If you're going to cook with it inside your home, it goes on your stove. Period. You can cook inside. I've been doing all my cooking videos. I'm inside my garage, doors closed, and everything else. My flat top. She is ready to rock and roll. I got that all hooked up. Then you move on over here. This is my Camp Chef oven. You've got to have a coffee pot, right? This has those two big burners on it that I've been telling you all about. All right, so we got that. Comes with a nice big oven inside. You can fit a full-size baking dish in here. You do get a thermometer, your knobs, the whole other nine yards. I got all my pots and pans. Everything is ready to go so that if I have to start cooking and the power goes out, well, we're ready. I've got my cooler right down here. I got another cooler over here, so if the power goes out, I took and froze all these water bottles. Like I told you guys, you freeze these water bottles, all right? There's a whole ton of them. You freeze these, and then you can take and you can shove them inside your regular freezer in your house, or you can take and put them into your cooler, where you gotta store you know, your, all your, your stuff you're gonna be using on a constant basis, you know, uh, milk, juice, coffee mate, butter, eggs, whatever it could be. For me, it's beer. <laughs> but hey, then I've got this one here. That's full of water. And this one here is also full of water. Back here, I've got one propane tank here. It's going to hook right here to the back of the camp chef, as you can see. <clears throat> then I have another propane tank down here that fires up my cooktop. I have two small cylinders over here for this Coleman stove. And I have a spare, another 20-pound tank that I can also hook up to this Coleman stove if I have to. So I just want to let people know, you got to get prepared it's just not so much of putting up your storm shutters and everything else. But if they're already forecasting power outages and you're already starting to see them in your area, you better to be prepared, have everything set up and ready to go. So this way here, you ain't got nothing to worry about. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video. Everybody out there in Florida, stay safe. So everybody that's up north of Florida, you guys better look out. Because this is supposed to come up and pay a visit to you. Don't know if it's going to be as strong as what it's going to be down here. But uh, so far we've had some pretty heavy rain. We keep getting these pretty intense squalls coming through. And uh, clouds and stuff are pretty cool. So we're going to have to, once the storm hits, we're going to come out and give you a bird's eye view. Till then, everybody stay safe in Florida.